Well, so what are the, do you mind telling us the seven key yeah. elements? Yeah. So it's punishing. Punishing relatable. problem. So it's a punishing problem? A problem. Right. So P-R-O-B-L-E-M. So punishing, relatable. And, and these things describe not just the story, but the problem at the heart of the story. Because mm -hmm. that's really what you're pitching when you're pitching a story. You're pitching a problem that takes the whole story to solve. So what does that problem have to look like? It has to be punishing to the main character, which means it defies being solved. Mm -hmm. And even though they're actively trying to solve it throughout the story, mostly they're failing and they're losing and it's just getting more complicated and difficult and important all the way through. I liken it to watching your favorite sports team in a championship game where they're the underdog and they're behind. It's exciting to watch that. And hopefully they'll come from behind at the end and win the game at the final moment. Mm -hmm. But prior to that, there's a lot of things going wrong and you're on the edge of your seat. So it's punishing. The second one's relatable, which has to do with caring about the main character or characters and whatever the outcome of the story is that's that's in play you want the audience to invest emotionally in that it's not as easy to earn that investment as it might seem investment in both the main character which most movies have a single main character uh most tv episodes have multiple characters that get stories uh, investing in them and also investing in whatever it is they're trying to achieve or solve the third is original the fourth is believable um, I should say just original. It's like fresh twist on a familiar genre is usually the way to go in my view, as opposed to I've got to do something totally different from how anyone's ever done anything before, which usually means you're not observing these other six elements because you're all focused on being different. So it's really about building on the shoulders of things that have worked, but with some intriguing fresh element you're bringing to it. Um, believable, that's obvious, but so many scripts and even premises for scripts fail when the audience is just like, eh, I don't know that I buy this. All right. I don't believe that people would do this or this situation that's very complicated and arbitrary that you've set up, and I'm not sure I'm with you. So believability is a bigger one than it seems. The L is for life-altering, which means the stakes of what's going on have to really matter. Uh, e is entertaining, which means don't forget your job really <laughs> is to bring your audience to some emotional state they paid to be in because they want this kind of genre to do something for them, whether it's action, comedy, romance, whatever. Uh, what is entertainment? How do you achieve entertainment? How do you make sure that's part of what you're doing? And then the last one is meaningful, which has to do with theme and making sure that what you're writing has some resonance beyond the surface events of your story. So people feel like, you know, you've kind of, it sticks to their ribs in terms of what it's really about and, and the human condition and, and life issues and challenges that we can all identify with.